interesting celebrity events are always happening round the clock. But of course, we at AF Trends are always here to delight your eardrums. But stay with us, because after this short break is today's gossip. I'm going to be your host with the gist, and I welcome you all to AF Trends. And we are back guys now to the gist at hand. Nollywood production house Nemsia Films has closed the first exclusive slate deal for TV commissioned featured films with Amazon Prime Video. Having already produced a successful repertoire of world class content such as God Calling, Before 30 and Journey of an African Colony. We are all very excited to collaborate with Nemsia Films on this preliminary slate deal which will complement our growing lineup of local Nollywood content for Prime Video's customers, said Ayana Lonian, Director of Content Acquisition and Head of World Worldwide major studio licensing strategy, Prime Video. This late deal supports our goal to showcase Nollywood at its best. By telling authentic homegrown stories in a range of genes to Prime Video customers around the world, Nemsla Films was co founded by Dewi Ade Yokunu and BB Sasuri with a strong belief in its ethos, No Gravity for the Mind, which, in addition to their major accomplishment, had seen them become a hub of developing young and emerging talent across every facet of Nollywood. I always say it's Nigerian entertainment industry to the world. Marin SEC, former wife of Nollywood actor Blossom Chukujeku, has said that she is yet to sign any divorce papers. <laughs> Marie revealed it in the question and answer section she did on Instagram with her followers. This is coming days after her ex-husband Blossom got married to clergy woman Inome. A follower had asked, when did you do your divorce? Because the last time we asked you, said, is not yet done. She responded by saying that, last I checked, I signed no divorce paper. Another follower asked, why didn't you sign the divorce papers? You weren't served? She replied, wasn't served any. Does this mean like she and Blossom are still married? Because Blossom actually just got married to, he just been married to, you know, to win a friend, a clergy woman and a niece to Chris Oyakilome. So are they still married? Is it still possible for him to get married? <laughs> it was a double celebration for first rising singer Portable as he wedded his lover, Pharaoh May, during their child naming ceremony. The duo welcomed their second child together last week and the naming ceremony was scheduled for Tuesday, 21st June 2022. During the child's christening, the couple in matching outfits exchanged wedding bounds in the presence of Islamic clerics. Their families and well wishes. During the exchange of rings, the singer made its rain naira note on his bride and mother of two of his kids. The special day was, however, marred by tragedy as Portable Side hit a bike rider with the singer's car, leading to the victim's death. This is coming days after the Ogu State Command ordered the singer to report to the nearest police station after Portable ordered a group of youth to boot up a young man at a yet to be identified location in Ogu State. But wait, first, I think Portable should just calm down because. I don't know, it's not just everyone that fits this celebrity status. The guy is just everywhere, just doing bass boots and doing these things anyhow. Elibiba is facing a trademark lawsuit against a skincare company, Rod. According to new documents obtained, Rod NYC LSC filed a trademark lawsuit against Biba's company, claiming that a new brand is trademark infringing and will quickly swamp their company's market presence, confuse the marketplace, and ultimately destroy the goodwill and reputation of the Rod brand. Rod, a clothing and lifestyle brand, was started in 2013, with his clothing having been worn by celebrities such as Beyonce, Tracy Ellis Royce, and Lupita Iyongo. The brand said the Rod brand is the most important asset and argued that Biba could leverage her fame into success with a differently branded beauty line. They are asking that the courts restrain Biba from using the trademark name Rod for her products and also asking for the case to go to trial, like the case to go to court. I think Ellie hasn't yet given a response to this lawsuit, so we are all waiting for a response. Let's just hear what she was saying. Former X Factor star Tom Mann, who auditioned in 2014 as a solo artist before being grouped into the brand Stereo Kicks, shared that his partner Danny passed away on June 18, the day they were set to get married. That's extremely sad. I can't, I just can't imagine something like that. Danny, a pre-hour executive, was just 34 years old. I can't believe I'm writing these words. 
my darling Danny, my best friend, my everything and more. The love of my life passed away in the early hours of Saturday morning. It was in a June 20 Instagram post on what was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives ended in irreversible heartbreak. I feel like I have cried an ocean. We never made it to the altar or got to say our vows or dance our first dance. But I know you that you were my entire world and the best thing that has ever happened to me, Daniel. Tom is now promising to wear his wedding ring as a sign of his unconditional love for Danny, who gave birth to their son, Bowie, in October 2021. Like, I always feel so disheartened when I hear about the death of someone. It's really a tough blow for the friends and family to deal with. Like, you might never be able to forget about that person. Chloe Kardashian is no longer keeping up with Tristan Thompson. It is confirmed that the good American CEO is now dating someone new. A private equity investigator who was introduced to her younger to her through her sister Kim Kardashian at a dinner party a few weeks ago. A source also said the relationship is in its early stages, so early stages and they're already spreading like with these Kardashians people just come down. Chloe's new dating revelation comes just three days after she denied rumors on a celebrity gossip Instagram account that she was seeing another NBA player. Definitely not true, the reality star wrote on June 18. I love you, thank you for the nice wishes, but I am not seeing a soul. I am happy focusing on my daughter and myself for a while and she's already in a relationship. Another NBA star may not be in Chloe's future for a while considering all the drama and everything she went through with Thompson. And it's time for me to leave the stage, if that's what is actually called. <laughs> Please leave a comment on two just for us to know what you feel about today's story. Also, follow us on all our social media platforms. Like I always say, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'm Rose B, and it's goodbye from here.